damn, you've stole my line, Max. You love Battlefield 14. <laughs> uh, but if you're not going to get it today, if you're not going to get it on PC or Xbox or PS3, and you're going to hold out and maybe get it on well, the next-gen consoles, this is just a little comparison to see what it looks like on the two consoles. Now, first things first, I have to become clear that because of the fact that we had to record this at the review event, it meant we couldn't use our own capture gear, and it meant we couldn't exactly go through the HDMI settings and toy around with all that stuff, which means that the PS4 footage came out looking very washed out and grey. So I have slightly altered the PS4 footage in this to make the contrast yeah, it's and lighting Yeah, literally just accurate. the contrast has been tweaked slightly. Yeah, so just as full disclosure, I have tweaked with that. Nothing else has been changed. And, I mean, you'll see some changes already. It's subtle here, but um, personally, I kind of it feels to me that the footage on the Xbox One footage it kind of, the lighting kind of pops out a bit more. Yeah, I think we just saw there in the, the bottom left, it's, uh, there's a little bit of lens flare, flare there that doesn't appear on the PlayStation 4 version. Yeah, and at first I thought it was just a case of brightness and contrast, but it's not. There's some of the lighting effects seem to have been really ramped up. You can see like there's almost a light haze. It's very kind of like J.J. Abrams style. <laughs> and um, it's just not really present on the PlayStation 4. The PlayStation 4 appears to have a much more subtle lighting engine. It's much more kind of like um, set back, uh, so to speak. Um, and there's reasons, I, well, I have speculations for why that might be that we're going through in a second. Yeah, I mean, uh, we, we have talked before about we thought the, the visions would be quite similar, but DICE have come out in the past and said that although that would have been an easy option, they wanted to use as much of that tech that they could do. Uh, you know, how true that ends up being, we're not sure, but it, the fact that there are differences here in terms of lighting would suggest that these are two different versions. I mean, actually, if you scan back and forth now, and if you look at the lighting, the shadows are on when he's grabbing that car seat, actually, and shaking it around, the use of lighting on there, it does look a bit more finessed uh, on, the, on the PS4. I've got to be honest, it does look slight. It's, again, it's a very subtle change, mm -hmm. but it does appear that the lighting engine is just a bit less in your face. Um, yeah. But it's hard to say. And actually, also, interestingly, I mean, this is where I kind of get into conspiracy theory territory, is the fact that it does seem like the lighting is a lot more extreme on the Xbox One, and I wonder if this kind of use of high contrast, brassy lighting is there to kind of cover up something, in the fact that there have been a lot of rumors. Yeah, the fact that, well, people have been suggesting that maybe the Xbox One version's been upscaled. Uh, we're, not, we're not sure, we can't really confirm. Pure rumor at this stage yeah. that it is upscaled from 900p, um, which, in effect, obviously, the thing is you can't see any of this, um, in this video, but we have it on good authority from a man, amusingly, who is a massive Xbox fanboy. Yeah. The PlayStation 4 version <laughs> Dave, of the game. Dave looks sent a lot me better. a message earlier that said, "Brat is, I, I don't know, man. I think the PlayStation 4 version's the better one. I'm sad." <laughs> Precisely. I think he's just he's genuinely a <laughs> bit upset. Know what to do with that information? Um, that it looks better on PS4, and it, you know, as you see, if you look at those two shots, like these shots might seem boring, but they're worth looking at because you really can see in the subtle differences the lighting here. They just have diff very different lighting engines, um, and it's a subtle change, but it is one that has quite an impact on it. And but generally, what we're informed of, and we can't really show you this unfortunately, because as I say, you've got YouTube compression, you've got the fact that we're only capturing in 720p. Um, but we have it on good authority that the Xbox One version of the game, while still very good looking, mm -hmm. is a bit jaggier, uh, where the edges on the PS4 version are a lot smoother. Um, apart from that, there doesn't seem to be a massive difference. Yeah, that, that, that being said, they are both running at the same frames per second, as far as we're aware. Um, yeah. That's both 60. You can't even see that on YouTube because it's, nope. it's put under 30, 30 frames per second. But, but we, we have it on the that the frame rate is exactly the same. It's just that when you play them both, one after the other, we have heard that the yeah, PlayStation 4 version is notably nice and looking when you play it on a proper big telly, on proper <laughs> consoles. Welcome to the limitations of YouTube yes. as a medium. But hey, you know, we, you know, it's good to get a general gist of it and get a general look um, at this, because, you know, yeah, and both versions are pretty good. It won't be too long before we'll be able to play around with this ourselves and uh, see what we think here in the office. Uh, we, what, how, how long are we until... To the next gen now. Not long. I mean, it's it's a few like, weeks away. Pretty much, it's Jeez. very very close at this stage. So, yeah, if you were on the fence, really, in terms of consoles, I'm not sure this really this really tells us. And again, a lot of this is you know based on uh, first person accounts and the fact that Dave, as I say, he's reviewed the game. He's been out in Sweden. He's been at the review event. He sent this video footage over. And um, yeah, I don't know. I just can't help but wonder. Even though I'm informed that a lot of this contrast stuff is down to just the PlayStation 4 capture being weird and making everything weirdly grey, I do, you know, know from previous experience that the practice of sort of having a slightly higher contrast and more 
extreme whites and blacks is uh, it's a really easy way of making things look more impressive. Yeah, um, I, think, I think we've all been guilty of that before, Matt. We've all been guilty of that. It's also used in, you know, Facebook profile pictures. Mm -hmm. You know, I've, I've used that before, you know. You're nowhere near as attractive in real life. I'm not, I know. I look better in a dark room. It's amazing what you can get away with yeah, in a dark room with a wig. Um, <laughs> but yeah, either way, I mean, as you can see here, the Xbox One version, there is a bit more, like, it just seems like there's a bit less subtlety with stuff like the lens flares. That, I mean, that is, like, Star Trek as hell. That's J.J. Abrams yeah. out there with Zoom. But, you know... They are looking good. They're they both, both look great. And, I, you know, I hope that we can basically just all agree on that and not be fighting in the YouTube comments. Stop fighting! Stop it! I can I know, see you doing it already. I can see you fighting already. <laughs> uh, but, of course, everybody will only be saying that the PC version is probably better than all. I don't, I don't care. But the most important thing, really, is that they all look Nice. Um, yeah, push comes to shove, if really you are just a Battlefield nut and you're not bothered about which next-gen console to mm -hmm. go for, um, word on the street, even from, as we say, now Dave, who is an extremely saddened Xbox fanboy, <laughs> um, it seems like the PlayStation 4 version is so far the definitive version. Obviously, if you've got a top-end PC, then that's going to be better, but obviously not everybody can afford one of them. Ah, oh, because they're pretty nice. They are, they are the rather expensive. Anyway, that's it for this week, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. What a pair of lovely screenshots to end the video oh, with. Lovely pair of. Whoa.